In this video we're going to look at using the P-Channel MOSFET basically as a diode and it has an improved property of a diode where when it's conducting it's cut conducting practically freely so there's a tiny bit of resistance so there's a little bit of a voltage divider effect but uh, it's not really dropping hardly any voltage at all. A rectifier diode is going to drop about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts, so that's less voltage for the load. A shot key diode is going to be somewhere around about 0 0.3, maybe 0 0.2 volts that uh, you lose from the load. So if even that is too much voltage to lose, you can use a P-channel MOSFET wired basically as a diode. So the uh, P-channel MOSFET, here's the more complex schematic uh, symbol. I like this simpler one. And a bunch of people use, or everybody uses their own symbol for the most part, but uh, there's, you know, a handful of symbols to pick from that are commonly used. Here is the uh, pin layout right there, and uh, so you got to look up the part number and look at the data sheet. It's kind of confusing looking at the data sheet for the uh, pin layout, so this may be your best uh, guide here. But uh, we have the BS250 in the E-Line package, and uh, left pin is drain, middle pin is gate, right pin is source. And uh, it looks like that's the same pin layout for the TO92, the uh, regular looking transistor version. But in any case, in this situation, the uh, drain to source is wired, drain more positive source, to where you can never turn it off completely. And then when you give the uh, gate a low voltage, low enough voltage, so here's a negative rail that's plenty low, that makes it conduct fully. So even when you have the drain there and the source there, if you give the uh, gate that uh, low voltage it will conduct fully. When we switch the power supply we put more negative to the drain which the drain for the p-channel MOSFET is usually to the more negative side and the uh, source to the more positive side the gate will also in this circuit be connected to the positive supply and with the p-channel MOSFET that is how you turn it off completely and so the positive current, the transistor will be off. There's no current path to go through the red LED in this case. I'm going to use 5 volts at the supply and 220 ohms at the uh, resistor. So we'll know this is wired up correctly when the uh, red LED will not light up with the power supply in that direction, but the green LED will light up with the power supply in that direction. So now here we are on the breadboard because the green LED is blinding when it is on, the power supply is off. So we got positive there to the uh, drain. Here is the back of the transistor. We got the gate to the negative supply and the source right there to the 220 ohm resistor coming to the LEDs. Long lead the anode to the resistor there, short lead cathode down and the opposite with the red LED. Long lead anode to ground, short lead the cathode to the resistor. So now we'll zoom back and turn the power on and uh, looks like we got about 8 milliamps of current right there. So let's take a look at what happens in this case if we put the transistor in backwards. I think that it will conduct exactly the same right there. And uh, yeah, there you can see we got uh, the 8 milliamps like we did before when it was the other way. So the problem is, so we put them, we have it backwards right now, remember that. We're going to switch the direction of the power supply and we're going to put the negative to where the positive and the positive there. So I said before the LED won't light up, but that is because the transistor is backwards. We'll turn it around for this circuit. So now we're back to what I showed on the schematic and the LED is off, there's no current flow. So if we connect the power backwards, this prevented the current going through the uh, load. And uh, so let's uh, I'll wire it back up so it's working uh, properly and we'll look at the voltages. And so I got the uh, power supply back the way it should be. The meter is ready to go. Just have to set this one to V for voltage. It does the uh, rest and uh, the red probe stays there for everything but high current. And uh, so that makes it easy. We will grab the uh, probes here and first we'll look at the supply voltage that's making it to the transistor and everything else right there about uh, 4.98. Now we're going to go across the load right here and uh, I turned up the lamp too so the green LED won't be so overpowering. But uh, there you can see now we got uh, 4.92 and so 
it's still within the 4.9 volt range. Whereas with the rectifier diode, it would be down to like 4.3, a shot key diode maybe 4.6 or something. You can also just go directly across the transistor. I accidentally shorted something up, but uh, you can go directly across the transistor. I have current limited, so the LED won't burn out. But uh, we can go directly across transistor. It's building up about 0 0.058, so about uh, 0 0.06 volts much less than uh, any diode would do. So that's it for this circuit. Turn the power off. Again, we did have that short circuit. That's why I always mention that I limited current with the power supply to 20 milliamps because that uh, will protect the LEDs and uh, most everything else, that amount of current. That's the maximum this will output. So I'll leave that uh, short circuit in there, but I always avoid short circuits. But in this case, nothing bad happened. So. That's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. I will see you in the next video.